Hello everyone. We are now here to introduce the paper, Differential Attack Suncraft, Exporting the Inventory at Boxes and Trick Conditions. We will introduce our work from five parts. Motivation, Specification of Craft, Contented Differentials of Craft, Key Recovery Attack, and Conclusion. First, we introduce our motivation. For most block cipher with SP structure, the decryption function is the inverse of the encryption function. In this case, we need two circuits to realize the encryption function and the decryption function. Well, in many less bit block cipher, they use involuntary component, which means the encryption function can be transferred transformed to decryption function with the low cost. Besides, for lower consumption, many lightweight block cipher use very simple case schedule, and there is even no case, no case schedule for some block cipher. Well, this involuntary and simple component may provide convenience for attackers. Differential attack is one of the most powerful techniques to attack the block cipher. And there are two hypotheses of differential attack. Markov cipher and the hypothesis of stochastic equivalence. The Markov cipher says that the differential probability will not be influenced by the truth of the plan test. And the hypothesis of stochastic Equivalence is that the differential probability will not be influenced by the truth of k. Well, in fact, both of the two hypotheses will not always hold. We focus on the hypothesis of stochastic equivalence and show how to use the value of k to find a more effective differential characteristic. In this paper, we found some features of a graph. Crap is a lightweight trick ball block cipher using many involuntary and simple components, include simple max column, involuntary S box, and linear layer, and simple trick, trick case schedule. And crap is a trick ball block cipher, so the attacker can control the trick. All of these features provide convenience for attackers. Using these features of craft, we found a system of the distinguisher with probably 2 to the power minus 55 and a 20 round with k differential distinguisher with probably 2 to the power minus 63. And we perform a k recovery attack to craft for the first time. We note that the number of rounds of craft is 32. So, our result is far from threatening the security of the full craft. Now, we introduce the craft. Craft is a lightweight trick for block cipher proposed at FSE 2019. The block size of craft is 64 bits, and the case size is 128 bits. The master key is divided into two 64, two 64 parts, k sub 0 and k sub 1. The trick size is 64 bits. Trick, trick is public and can be controlled by a packer. There are five operations in one round function. That's column MC and round constant RC and two k. Commute enables PN and, and Xbox SB. MC is a simple linear transformation, and there is a special property that the last two rows are unchanged. It is one of the critical properties of our attack. In RC, a constant only acts out on the yellow cell. The round constant x out on these two cells will not influence our attack. So, we omit this operation. For add 2k, 
TK T mod 4 is XR on the state. And the TK schedule is that TK0 is K0 XR T, where T is the chip. And the TK1 is K1 XR T. TK2 is K0 XR QT, where Q is a permuted neighbor on T. And the TK3 is K1 XR QT. We can see that the TK schedule is very simple. Pn is a permuted neighbor, and we can see that the last two rows of Zt are transformed into the first two rows of Wt, and the first two, ro two rows of Zt are transformed into the last two rows of Wt. It is another critical properties of our attack. Sb is an S layer with 16 4 bit involuntary S box. From the DDT of craft S box, we can see that if the input difference is A, then the output difference can take only 4 possible values, phi, A, D, F. So, if there are two independent input difference A, then the probability of the output difference is equal is 1 quarter, but not 1 in 16. From the features of this component, we can see that if the last two rows of TK is all zero, then we can deduce that the last two rows of XT is equal to the last two, ro two rows of YT and equals the last two rows of ZT and equals the first two rows of WT. We then apply this property to a two round graph and find the transmitted differential child of our graph. We now introduce the transmitted differentials of graph. Consider the two round graph. First, we focus on the red cell. We assume that TKT plus 1 cell, namely the orange cell, is 0. Then we can deduce that the value of this red cell is equal. As MC doesn't change the last two rows, and TK T plus 1 12 is 0, so YT plus 1 12 equals ZT plus 1 12. And PN doesn't change the value of the cells, so the value of these four red cells is equal. And in this case, ZT1 through 2 S box to XT plus 2 1. So we have XT plus 2 1 is S as Z, ZT plus 1, ZT1. And we have no, the S box is inventory. So we have ZT1 is equal to XT plus 2 1. And notice up to now we are focusing, focusing on the value, but not the difference. Besides, we find a special property of craft at box. It is that if the difference third z t1 is a, the difference on this is a, then it, the out, output difference third x t plus 2 1 is a. If if t k t plus one twelve is a. Now we focus on the difference. Under the condition t k t plus one is zero, we have learned the value of z t one is equal to the value of z of x t plus two one, and so we have that the difference on third z t one is equal to the difference 3xt plus 2 1. And if, if, if these two blue cells with difference 0, then we have this the difference on this cell 
and equal to the difference of this cell. So, so we have that third x t one is equal to third x t plus two one. Under the condition t k t plus one prime, this cell is zero, and the third x t nine thirteen is zero, which is the invariable property of the two drum graph, and it is the foundation of our work. Note that using the special property of graph as box, we can deduce that. If t k t plus one twelve, this cell, and third x and third x t one equals a, then we can decide the x t plus two one must be a. This is the invariable property. Combined with m and l t, we found the sixteen gram quantitative differential distinguisher of crap. With the probability 2 to the power of minus 55, and the probability of the random permutation is 2 to the power of minus 56. The figure of the distinguisher is listed below. We show a simplified figure of the 16 round distinguisher. We will show that the probability of the pair x, x15. Satisfy, satisfy the following formula is 2 to the power of minus 55. And this cell is an active cell. And the difference of this cell and this cell can take only four possible values. And the difference on this cell and this cell is A. And we can get third x. 15 from the several test x16. So we have a 13 round differential distinguisher. And the condition of the dis distinguisher is that we need tk1 9 10 13 and tk3 9 10 13 to be 0 or a. In fact, we don't know the case. So we can't let the tk satisfy in this condition. But we can change the value of t. So we can change the value of tk. There are six cells condition on t on tk. And in fact, we can test 2 to the power 12 t to enumerate the tk cells. And in this t case, there must be stk satisfying our condition. In this case, our distinguisher as a whole. Besides, using the MNLP, we found a 20 round wicked differential distinguisher with probability 2 to the power of minus 63. The figure is listed below. In fact, the differential characteristic we found is 3x0 to 3x18. And we can extend it to a 20 round differential distinguisher, 3x minus 1 to 3x 19. The condition on k is this k1 9 10 13 is 0 or a, and k0 9 belongs to a set. And if we can control the trick to enumerate the k1 9 10 13, then the condition on k is only k09 belong to a set. And in this case, the weak k space is 2 to the power 127. Our distinguisher requires the ability to control the k, which is similar to related k attack. Well, there are some differences between these two attacks. First, our method will not influence the differential trial, so the control of t will not spread the difference. And we can apply this method to truncated differential attack. Second, the method we used and the related t attack depending on t schedule in different ways. Third, 
for related check distinguisher. The check they used in the head of the distinguisher is not always TK0. Well, in our method, we can use any TKI on the head. Just a slight adjustment on check is needed. Fourth, the key recovery attack is different between these two attacks. Now, we introduce the key recovery attack. We use the 15 rod distinguisher with probability 2 to the power minus 54 in our key recovery attack. The simplified figure is this below. The input difference is this. And the probability of the pair, W14, W14 satisfying this formula as 2 to the power minus 54. And the condition of trick is TK1 time equals TK3 time equals 0 or A. We propose two methods to make a key recovery attack. Algorithm 1 uses the, use the property that only under some conditions, the differential trial as a whole is a high probability. Well, for run case, the differential trial as a whole with a negligible probability. Algorithm 2 is similar to traditional key recovery algorithm. Well, as our distinguisher as a whole only under some conditions, we need to test some trick cells to ensure there is a trick satisfying our condition. The algorithm 1 is here. The basic idea of algorithm 1 is that if tk1 12 equals tk3 12 equals 0 or a, then the truncated differential trial holds with probability 2 to the power minus 54. Else, the probability is 2 to the power minus 56. So, we can guess all the 16k12 and let t6 and t12 equals the guess. Then, we get the separate, separate test pair and we check whether the output difference is the right pair. If so, then we then the counter plus one, and we can get the right case. Algorithm two is similar to traditional method. We extend the 15 run differential distinguisher to 19 run, and try all the 16 t6. Then there must there must be two checks satisfy our condition. We suppose every guess of T6 is right and take a key recovery attack for all the 16 T6. There must be a check makes the distinguisher hold and then we can recover the correct K just like the traditional method. We set the data complexity as N and the time complexity as this. Then the successful probability is eighty percent. Now we summarize this paper. In this paper, we analyze the features of lightweight block fiber craft, include the involuntary S box, simple TK schedule, and the involuntary and simple linear layer. Thanks to these features of craft. We found a two-round invariable property of craft. Using this property, combined with MIRP, we construct a new distinguisher of craft and found a 16-round differential distinguisher and a 20-round wicked differential dif distinguisher. What's more, we firstly make a key recovery attack to 19-round craft. Thank you for your attention.